Hi everyone, in the previous video we have seen the first protocol, the simplest protocol in noiseless channels. The next one we are going to see is stop and wait protocol. So what we did in the simplest protocol that the receiver was able to handle as many as frames as they come and it didn't implement any error control or flow control. So what happens we are going to implement flow control in this okay so what is flow control as you, you know the to control the flow of data because usually what happens data frames arrive faster then the receiver can handle so the data frames are arriving faster than our receiver can handle so what we can do to solve this problem well there are two ways the first one is we can store them but usually this is not possible as the receiver won't, doesn't have enough storage so that leaves us with the second option that is we will send a signal to the receiver to to the sender to slow down okay so what happens in this protocol the sender sends a frame stops wait until it receives acknowledgement from the receiver then it sends the next frame okay say this is the sender this is the receiver This is our data line. And this is acknowledgement. See, this transfer is still unidirectional. As we are we can send data only from this sender to this receiver and this acknowledgement signal comes through some other line but the data line is just one and works in the, in a single direction so it is still unidirectional okay now to explain it through flow diagram okay this is our sender and this is receiver A, B this is time so and a frame is requested by the network so the receiver sends the frame which arrives after some time at this point it sends the frame at this point which arrives after some time at B when the B receives the frame it sends back an acknowledgement signal the 
uh, it sends the acknowledgement signal and when it receives the acknowledgement signal it sends the next frame and this process goes on so this is the stop and wait protocol in which the flow control is implemented still no error control is implemented in this so that will be done in when we will discuss the noisy channels and the various protocols in this okay see you next time